Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Hope you're having a great one. We're going to have a quick video today breaking down Dylan Raiola's film from his senior year at Buford High, his highlights and his even lowlights. Um, and that's all going to be in this video. Uh, before we get to it, if you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We're going to have videos coming out like this all off season. You do not want to miss it, but let's get into it, guys. All right, everybody, let's get into it. We have three videos to play for you. Uh, highlights and lowlights from Dil Raiola. The reason why we do this is that, you know, there's a lot of content out there on YouTube. You'll see Google say, oh, we're reacting to film, but it's just huddle highlights. Everybody looks like a superstar on huddle because, it's, yeah, it's just their highlight. It's it's their best plays. Uh, we watch these type of videos to look at the bad parts, look at the things that, you know, maybe Dil Raiola needs to improve on. Nobody's a perfect prospect. So let's get into the video. Real quick, want to thank uh, Georgia Bulldogs football on YouTube. He went to a couple of Raiola Steve's, took video. So oh, he is the video that we're using. Also, uh, shout out to him and his channel. But let's get into it, everybody. This is against Dakula, one of the uh, first games of the year. First snap drops back. Really good floater pass there on the corner. Wide open KJ Bold. Let's check down. Another nice check down. Really, you'll see this time and time again in this video. I love, love uh, Buford's offensive offensive game planning. Love their scheme. See a lot of their play calling uh, comes from Eric Bieniemy, uh, who was in Kansas City as their offense coordinator now in Washington. Reminds me so much of what he has going. Really love their offense. Mike, you this. Wow, we're gonna have to yeah, we're gonna have to give that a second look real quick. This is everything that I talked about with Del Raiola that I love about him. You do not see many quarterbacks at his level step up in the pocket and have this level of progressions early early on in their development, right? Look at this play from an early step. Look at the right-hand side. First progression, not there. Steps up, pump fakes. Second progression, not there. Senses the pressure. Steps up in the pocket, says, okay, there's nobody else open. I'm going to take it myself. Beautiful, beautiful play by Dylan Raiola. I uh, can't do it much better as a senior in high school. And a lot of these guys do not have that ability to go through the progressions uh, and also sense the pressure at the exact same time, let alone one alone. Little bootleg action, just scanning the field. Yep, makes it look really easy. Great blocking on the edge there. Uh, finds a wide open man. That's exactly how they teach you. Really good play action. It steps up in the pocket. Oh my goodness. 60 yards out of the field. Oh, she just dropped the ball. If he got two hands under that one, he would be going for six. Um, but let's let's count how long it is. He threw that from the 30-yard line, his old 30-yard line. It landed at the 10. That's a 60-yard throw in the air. Oh, my goodness. From Dylan Raiola. And great job of the O-line there. That was a great rep from the O-line. Plenty of time and just scanning the field and finds a wide-open man streaking across. Pump fake, didn't find his man wide open. Yeah, nice little play there for the wide receiver. Love their use of play action. Another another example. Steps up in the pocket, senses the pressure of the right hand side, steps up to the left, then just darts it down the field. A little bit underthrown there. That is a risky ball to throw, especially given the fact that he underthrew that. If the DB made a better play, that would have been a pick. Yep, nice little, nice little pass to the inside. Really quick, and I want you guys to watch this uh, for the rest of this video real quick. Watch his footwork as he steps back and goes through his progressions in the pocket. Uh, this is a thing that his quarterback coach, Jeff Christensen, really, really loves to stress. Uh, he's also the private quarterback coach of Patrick Mahomes. Is the footwork in quarterbacks. And a lot of times you see this messy footwork uh, when they're coming out of high school. He has it down to a T. This is exactly how they teach you. Really good throwing mechanics as well. Another another nice drop there from Dylan. Yeah, one read. You see a lot of these little slant and goes uh, that Buford likes to run. And they require a very accurate quarterback to get it right there in the hole um, when it appears itself. And yeah, made another nice play. Wide open. Wow, another drop. Looks like his eyes got out of him, man. That was so that must be frustrating as a quarterback. 
hoping that doesn't happen at Nebraska. Wow. This was a great play by the defensive back. Really, really good play. This was a great ball. All things considered, that was a great ball. Maybe could have threw a little bit uh, more alongside the baseline, but yeah, that was just a great play by the DB to get there. Um, kind of shake that one away. But a great play. pass by Rolla. You really can't do it much better. Really been impressed so far. This is this is a really, really, really good highlights. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can we talk about this play concept real quick? Um, you see a lot of this in Eric Gietemi. I just talked about him. Where it's this fake running back screen, one to the right hand side, and you fake that, and there's a wide open man on the left hand side. Great play concept. Just a little bit underthrown, unfortunately. Looks like a pistol formation, another play action. Went through a second progression. Yeah, just overthrow him, man. I, I think looks like Dylan, yeah, the first progression was not there, went to a second, and he waited a little bit too long to throw this football. Yeah, because the DB got there, caught up with him, and throw it a little bit too high. Wanted a flag, so I could get it, it looks like. Getting more pressure, rolling to his left. Yeah, okay. This is probably the first bad rep, probably second bad rep we've seen from Dylan. Get great job by sending the pressure and rolling to his left. You have got to throw this ball out of bounds. Ten times out of ten at Nebraska, you've got to throw this ball out of bounds. You are doing nothing, uh, evading, trying to evade pressure more, right? In this play, he just runs for about a five-yard loss. Cannot do this. Throw this ball away. Uh, that's one thing that a lot of these high school quarterbacks need to learn. They need to learn two things. One, how to slide it, and two, how to throw the ball away. Um, need to throw that ball away. And again, that's going to get you popped as well. That's going to cause some injuries from time to time. Oh my goodness. This is an underrated rep. Another drop. Went through about three or four progressions. One, two, steps up, three. Wow. And then again, the tight end just drops the football. We've seen, what, three drops so far from these Buford receivers, man. Nice little out round. Wow. Oh my goodness. He's going to go to the house. Yeah. When you have um, D1 prospects all over your football team, that'll happen a couple times. It's like a little, little run here, left hand side. Did not mean to get a whole oh, nice truck. Another play action, Bublé to the right. Yep, can't teach you any better. That's what you do. You have plenty of time when you roll the right. Nobody's rushing you. You just stay put, wait to find a man along the sideline. That's exactly what he did. Wow, really, really good highlights here. Again, had about two or three bad reps, but other than that, man, looked almost flawless. So that's the first video. We'll get to the second one here shortly. All right, everybody, here is the second video for Delriola. This is his first game ever at Newford. One thing to note, it'll be interesting to see how on target he is with his receivers, uh, given the fact that this is basically the first time they went to war with each other against an actual opponent um, because he tries for interview for his senior year. So, something to note. <laughs> Another great two progression. First man up the middle was not there. The wide receiver finds a space in zone coverage wide open. That was a great play by the receiver. Wow. Really? Look at this. So play action. One read on this play. You might think they might go to this screen pass check down. Um, small, small window to throw to this slant, man. You have to throw that basically on a rope because there's a lurking defensive back right here in the flat that might get a hand on that. You do that. The only way, only way it could have been thrown. Um, only to his receiver. That was a great pitching catch to the five-star KJ Bolin. <laughs> New George commit KJ Bolin, I should add. Two running backs in the backfield here. Another beautiful play concept. Screen pass. Yep. So already it looks like basically the, the identical play call we saw in the earlier video where they had that play action. Uh, basically deep post down the field. Oh, my goodness. Look at these alignment, by the way. Got absolutely destroyed on the edge. Dylan took a little bit of a shot at the end of that, uh, end of that clip. And 
happens. Just a little bit overthrown there from Dylan. Just a little overthrown. That's a hard ball to throw. Wow. Nice. Go back to that real quick here. So, it's the second progression on this play. Kept back pedaling in the pocket. The pressure was coming. Just floats that into a wide open crosser. Yeah, really good rep. I mean, I, I can't even I can't even put to words how impressed I am right now. This is there's a lot of really good stuff here. Great job again. Steps up in the pocket. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, okay, two things out here. That is an amazing play to keep the keep the ball alive there, but I will say this. This was nice, but after that, you have got to go down. You've got to slide. You are not going to make another play. You are not going to make another play. You've got to go down, uh, you know, not take a hit here. You take a hit from the backside. Oh, kind of an awkward landing even. Got to go down after that nice move. I, you know, that's, that's the type of thing about Joe Royal. You're going to see a lot of this in his film where he's so talented. He makes a couple of mistakes here and there, but he makes up for it about 90% of the time. That's how good of a player he is. But there's some of these tendencies that he has to get rid of. Gotta how to slide. Oh my goodness. He got absolutely crushed on the edge. Great play by the receiver. Great pass, better catch. Oh my gosh. And to, and to think that he stood tall during the pressure there, took the hit, and made that play. That was spectacular from Dill. So that is his first game. Pretty solid there. We're going to have one more video we'll go over. Uh, let's get to it. All right, guys. Here's our third Delroy video, third and last. Let's get into it. Really been impressed so far, man. This guy's a stud. Nice little check down swing screen pass. Get things started. Wow. So, yeah, Delroy Ola only had one INT. His senior year at Buford, if that was not a pass interference, I would have been a second. But yeah, easily, easily a pass interference. Um, kind of lucky, honestly, however, it's called a PI because this ball was a way, way overthrown. I think he was just not on the same page with his wide receiver on this play, KJ Bolden. But yeah, PI sends it back, no harm, no foul. Five wide. He makes it look so easy in the pocket, doesn't he? Right? Get effortless. Effortless throw 30 yards down the field. I will say this, however. If that was thrown in stride, that wide receiver might still be running. He had an opportunity to make a move on uh, that safety number three. Just a little bit overthrown, but not too much where it was an incompletion. He still got his hands over there uh, and made a diving catch. So a little goal line action here. Two progression. Something is there. I just runs and finds nothing. This is one of those plays, again, where you've got to throw this away for Del Riola. A little play action. Has two guys right here. Number 11 is not going to be open. You think maybe about right here you could feed it in uh, to the middle man. Decides not to. Swivels his head over the left-hand side. Decides to run it. At this point, again, you see this guy right here, this linebacker, staring you down. The tight end's already focused on committing to the tackle, on such a tackle right here. You're not going to make a play on this linebacker. You've got to throw this football away. No doubt about it. Uh, not a great rep there from Dylan. Again, it's just not worth it. It's not worth getting a gain of one or two at that point in time. Not worth it. I mean, especially um, just given the fact that he's cold for your legs, you might get begged up. No way. Holy cow, I wish the can work was better. He completed that football. Let's take another look at that. So, steps up. Great move, however, by the edge rusher to get his arm and kind of twirl him around. That gets him by the legs. However, this is one of those plays where it could easily go south. Dylan had about no idea who he was throwing to. Um, you see this sometimes in the NFL called the college level where it's, you know, the fourth quarter and you want to keep the ball alive and you just throw it up while getting sacked. It, you know, a DB comes out of nowhere, takes it the other way for six. 
kind of lucky that one turned it in his favor, but oh, that, was, that was wild. No, no comment other than that. But one of those works at that point, he might want to take a sack at the college level. A little trips to the far side, shotgun, play action, bootleg. Oh, man. Just tiptoes past that. Another one, though, where you might want to throw that away. Yeah, nice throw right there on the side line. You think, real quick, so watch this guy, watch the running back. I would throw it right here. You see the safety shift inward. You know this is, you know, he's not going to pick up this running back anytime soon. You want to throw this football right here. Because of the fact that Dylan waited about an extra second to throw that, he almost, he got popped. He almost had an incompletion because of that. Uh, I really didn't give his running back any chance to make a play on his legs. So one of those balls where you might want to throw that out a little bit earlier, Dylan just got to him a little bit later. So I'm... Yeah, another great play concept. This is a quick check down play actions. See the exact same thing here. Wow. We saw a nearly identical play uh one of the last videos where we'll go back to this real quick. Where the guy here on the far side running a slant, other the guy that hears is a swing swing screen pass, play action. Your first read is that slant. If they're running zone coverage, then you go and get that swing, uh swing screen. But because of the fact that they're running man. You trust your one-on-one -on -one receiver. You trust your quarterback to make a great throw. That was a great play. You think he might have might have got it to the check down there in the flat, the running back. A little bit more of a risky ball to throw it up to your tight end. But that's one of those plays at high school where it's like, hey, let your let your receivers do the rest. Oh, man, hold up to see this. Quarterback sneak. You got to think we're going to have Delrella do that a couple of times this fall. No doubt about it, our offense. Yeah, really good rep from Dell here. Watch this. Ball goes out right here, right with his head swiveling back. It's exactly what they teach you. The bomb downfield. Ooh, yeah, P.I. That was close. That was close. A little bit overthrown, however. Another great job by Dale. Step in the... Oh, my gosh. Now we just have it fun. Now, that, that's what makes high school ball fun. Um, This is this is what makes Dale Royale a special prospect. I keep talking about how he steps up in the pocket. Um, He steps up in the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield. I've watched a lot of high school quarterbacks over the years. I remember I watched Logan's mother's high school film. And instead of stepping in the pocket, every time there's pressure, he'd run to the left, tuck it, and run. Every single time. Here's what Dylan does. Not only does he not run to the left-hand side, just running the football, steps up, keeps his eyes downfield. He's still looking for guys to pass to. And in this scenario, keeps his eyes downfield. That looks like he's going to run it, has a little bit of fun. He saw this receiver here, the corner of his eyes, knows that when he commits to running the football, this DB is going to go straight towards him, and he just flips it to him. Um Wow, that was that was that was a great play by Dylan. A lot of this, there's having fun out there, man. It's having fun, but the, this is the type of stuff that, that makes me really, really intrigued about Dorrell. The fact that he's just such a smart quarterback. He has those progressions. He has the ability to step out of the pocket. He has that ability uh, to have great footwork and to evade pressure. You know, you can teach accuracy, or you could. I mean, you can teach the rest, but it's this kind of stuff that you already have. The fact that he already has that as a high schooler is so impeccable. Uh, and he has all the other skills as well, like throwing the ball 60 yards down the field. You know, no big deal, all right? Uh, sorry about this video taking up the screen. Check down here. Looks like we have one last play action. Rolls the rights. Looking, looking, scanning. Makes it look easy. So, yeah, guys, that is the video over Dylan Riola. Uh, really, really impressive stuff. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this, more film breakdowns. We'll definitely get to more, especially uh, when we get some more commits down the line. But a uh, really fun video. Really love bringing it to you. I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas Eve or Christmas, whenever you're watching this. But as always, go Big Red. Go Red Rule. See you next one, everybody.